Hello there, this is V Coach Bong de Hungria, and today we'll, in this video, we'll have two videos in one. The first one um, is how to create a free video using Zoom. So in my class, um, in the Ateneo, I require some video reports individually and as a group. And one way, one easy and free way to do it is to just record yourself um, in a Zoom meeting. Now the other sub report within this report is a video showing how to triple brand yourself in a Zoom meeting, why and how to change your screen name and background picture in Zoom. So hope you enjoy this video. So um, we will pause in certain bits just to prepare the other elements of this presentation. But basically what we are recording right now is me in alone in a Zoom uh, meeting being recorded and sharing screen. So this is an acceptable way to create and submit your video assignments for marketing class in Ateneo. Okay, so I just um, shifted to screen share. And in this part of the video, we'll show you how to triple brand yourself in Zoom and why and how to change your screen name and background picture in a Zoom meeting so that we achieve our objectives. Okay, so the outcome you want is your brand um, is seen in your screen name here in the background logos. Um, and we will move from being ordinary, and this is a typical Zoom background, an unbranded ordinary background, into a triple branded differentiated person on a professional and personal basis. So now we know where we're coming from and where we want to be. So we will move from being individuals in a room, in a Zoom room, virtually, to being a community of branded Blue Eagles. Now, the first brand we want to be included is, of course, the Ateneo brand. And in, it, in addition to the Ateneo logo, the brand name, one of the common things which you may have noticed I use in class is experience excellence. So this is one of the taglines or the commonly used phrases in Ateneo. So that's the first. The second brand we would like to highlight is your personal logo, which uh, by this time you have made. And the third is your screen name. It's not too clear here, but the screen name I use is Vcoach Bong Dungria, and that includes the one word brand DNA or descriptor, a nickname and a surname. So when I say triple branded, then a one, personal logo two, and your screen name is three. If you're uh, a bit more technical or philosophical about it, the fourth and the biggest brand is you, your face, how you look um, as far as the camera is concerned, because to your fellow participants, that's the most real thing in the meeting. So why do we want to do that? Because we want to apply marketing to you. And we want, by doing that, we benefit from the use of marketing principles and get the brand image we want. Again, the brand image is the image in the minds of our um, target market. And we want the image to be uh, correct for your personal brand and for your professional brand. So uh, this is a background, Zoom background sample, which I customized by placing my personal logo there. And uh, we will show you how to do that for your own brand. So you will receive this PowerPoint file. And again, this shows um, my logo besides the Ateneo. And um, what you'll need to do is a couple of steps. So on the white uh, left portion, you paste your personal brand logo. You resize it so that it's proportional um, to the Ateneo logo. You save it as PowerPoint. 
and then open the PowerPoint again, the one you just saved, and go to the slide where you have your logo. And um, so go to the slide where you have your logo and then right click on the slide and save as picture. So we'll try to demo it here, how to save a particular slide as picture. And once you have a picture, go to Zoom and change your background. So we'll demo number five. So this is a slide. So when I say right click, so I'm now right clicking, right clicking on the slide. Um, boom. Okay, right clicking on the slide here. Um, file, sorry, I go back, file, save as, instead of as a PowerPoint, save it as a picture, okay? And when you save it, you can save it um, just the slide that you want. So now this slide becomes a picture that you can set into your Zoom um, uh, background. Okay. So how do we do that? Um, as, uh, so now we'll do a sample. Supposing you have your picture already and you just want to change the template. So you'll just delete the, the picture um, and uh, grab the picture that we have. And I'll take it from the internet right now. So now if you go to the internet with famous brands in the Philippines and you search for that, supposing um, what, what would be a good uh, funny logo, um, maybe here. Okay, so we copy the image, we go back to the file and then just paste the image. Okay, and then of course resize it. Okay, another option that you might want to do is to, um, is to actually put your, uh, uh, brand DNA and name as part of the picture. So you can insert text box and you can actually put it here. So supposing uh, your descriptor is uh, inverted. Bon de la Cruz. Okay. And then you can size this appropriately, uh, make it big. And then as demonstrated earlier, you can now change this or save this as a picture. File, save as, save as a picture. So a JPEG or a PNG. And then uh, V85, uh, sample, uh, inverted, bone, when these logo. So I save that and just this slide. So now I have a file that has this as picture. Okay. So um, okay. So I'm just temporarily back on the screen. I prepared a couple of uh, um, items we need to change the background. So we're now recording again. Uh, me attending myself in one Zoom room. So to change the background, there's this icon on the lower left, which says stop video. Um, we'll not do that. What we'll do is to click the right arrow pointing up and it says choose virtual background. Okay. So you might see now the different backgrounds that I have to choose from. So again, this is a typical background that comes free with Zoom, very boring. Um, sometimes um, it's a uh, moving uh, moving background. I don't recommend this uh, for meetings because it's distracting. Um, I've saved a couple of Ateneo backgrounds to use, but uh, for class, for marketing class especially, I say let's use a common background. So this is one where the Ateneo is on the left side and the personal brand is on the right but I prefer to use this. Yeah, and you're familiar with this. 
uh, for a couple of things. Um, because of the positioning of my brand, this allows me a better um, appearance without um, without uh, covering the Ateneo logo. So that's one option. I also use this background. Okay, looks like uh, we're in the office or in the classroom. But for now, uh, let's add the picture we made earlier. The picture was um, in, a, in a file. So we'll click, click plus add image and we'll search for it in um, pictures. I placed it in pictures and I placed it in AGSB. Scrolling down, um, here it is. So if you click that open, now that's the background that you get. Also, I, I mentioned that you can put uh, your descriptor here or here. Now, how do we change the name um, if, if you're not yet included the brand descriptor in the screen name, then there are a couple of ways to do that. Number one is click chat or participants, go here, and then there's a more, edit picture. So, oops, not picture. So more is to, oh, is it chat or participant chat? Uh, can we do more? No, it's a picture change there. Um, here you can right click uh, on your name on the lower left side, click rename. So now it's ideal that you follow the series of Dcoach. Dcoach, then Bong de Umbria as your screen name. I, I um, discourage against putting your real first name because that's not maybe how you prefer to be called and it sounds too formal for class. It's better to put, put uh, the nickname. So now you see that my screen name is Vcoach Bong de Umbria. So what have we done? We incorporated here the Ateneo logo, your personal logo, your personal um, DNA, your brand DNA with your name, and now you're triple branded in Zoom. So again, I'm recording this via Zoom recording in a one-man Zoom meeting. So I hope you learned uh, the most important things and you are now confident in making a video report um, just by using Zoom. And one more thing, if you found value in this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, connect through my blog or through LinkedIn, so together we can serve.